Okay, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is going blessed today. I'm doing blessed. Hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and light, love and blessings, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel comfortable enough, please even give me a thumbs up, share. It would greatly be appreciated. And if you feel comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the positive feedback, especially if you go ahead and tell, you know, experience that you might want to share or drop your opinion on what you might know about the situation on the subject that I'm talking about in my video. And thank you so much for the love and support and coming to see about my channel. For my returning subs, what's up fam? I got almost got lost there for a minute. <laughs> what's up fam? What's up love? And namaste to you. Many blessings, love and light. And many blessings are yet to come for you. And thank you so much for the love and support. My video is about Twin Flame 101. Hell, because is it hard for you to let go? Is it hard for you to let go? Today, I'm listening to the music to help soothe your mind, mark migraines, and one hour of relaxation music. So, I mean, it's really soothing. Like, I'm listening to it, and it just sounds like waterfalls. And I know I have migraines on and off like it's not even funny. Especially, you know, after these eclipses that we had lately, I've been having them like on and off like sporadically. Even my daughter is starting to complain about having headaches and stuff like that. But yes, you know, hard to let go. I mean, going through this experience and finding out the stuff that I found out, it was like... You know, somebody really can do some detrimental things to you. Or you could have been, you know, you had a, a, uh, a terrible childhood or a troubled childhood. Went through past trauma or you, you've been through emotional abuse with a significant other, family member, you know, co-worker, whatever. And I know going through my journey, Lord Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> it was like when I was finding out things left and right, it was just like I'm forgiving people for this forgiving people for that okay I need to let go of this because all my energy was starting to get sucked in about the things that I went through and I was just like asking God like you want me you expect me to forgive these people for this you know and you forget you know because it was just like at a point where my family really did some traumatizing stuff to me and to find out not just that you're adopted on your birthday, but it's like not even 15, 20, you know, between 20 and 25 years later, finding out, you know, that you have had a current, you know, cross paths with your father, your biological father. You've been talking to him this whole time and your family lied to you, telling you that they didn't know nothing about your family, you know, nothing about your birth, you know, birth family, all for money, you know, and I had to be able to get over that I had to be able to let go of that and it became so hard I was asking God it's like the more I find out that they've done to me the more you're asking me something that was really hard for me to do and it was just like how hard is it for you how much do you want the new life that you you want how how bad do you want that because you can't you, you can't be looking to a future when you're totally past on your back. It is kind of hard to be able to reach that finish line when you got your past on your back. So it's just like me going through that. I have to keep telling myself every day, even though I go through my struggles and my mishaps or whatever. I used to get angry with them because I was just like, you know, me and my children have, wouldn't even have to go through this if you would just tell the truth. But I knew I was put on this position, you know, put in this position so I can be able to make videos, you know, finding out more about myself, um, learning more, being able to help other people find their way also, or, you know, they might be able to contribute to something towards me that I might not have known. So it was like letting go of that situation has brought me so much positive vibes coming in. You know, I, I feel the love that people send to me, you know, uh, through the comments, through the views and stuff like that. 
and it was like, you know, you, you, you have something here. <laughs> you know, I knew I really had something here. And I know I want to be a motivational speaker and be able to send out as much love as I possibly can, you know, learning all these mystical hats that you have. I'm just like, you know, when my, my family used to tell me how special I was and how, you know, I'm, I have this great gift that I need to show the world. I didn't know it went that deep. So, you know, dealing with different things like that, you know, really humbled me. You know, it made me appreciate things that I went through, even though it was very heartbreaking and traumatic. And, you know, I still have my days. You know, I'm not even going to lie about that. I still have my days. But it's, it's starting to become easier, you know, to deal with because I know I have something far more greater waiting for me down the road. You know, I had to deal with a narcissistic father, a narcissistic, narcissistic you know, significant other, you know, and it, it became hard, you know, it was just like I had to deal with everything all at once, but it's just like dealing with that as being a hey, okay, we tend to go things like the, you know, like with, we're like a freaking renegade, and <laughs> we're dealing with this, and I'm just like, you know, I really, you know, anybody else in the norm, you know, telling a story like that, you would think somebody would probably kill somebody, God forbid, or, you know, hurt themselves or something like that, going through something like that and then finding out, you know, all those things about yourself and then, you know, knowing your greatest fear had came to life. And that was something I had to really deal with and I had to accept, but I can see all the blessings that it brought me to where I'm at, you know what I'm saying? So I knew I had to get let go of those things, let go of it. it, it is just hard, especially when you're an overthinker, you know, it's just like, even when you don't want to think about negative things, sometimes negative things come in, and I have to really divert in, into something positive, because I'm just like, oh no, it's not going to be one of those type of days, no, <laughs> not, you know, because it could be coming in from somewhere else, and it will bring something in, and it's just like, you don't realize how sensitive you are until, you know, you're going through your, your you know, your issues. And then you de got to deal with somebody else's issues, too. And it's just the issue with us already. It's already hard for us to let go of things that we're going through, and we're trying to take on somebody else's issues, too. So that becomes really frustrating. So I'm not trying to hold you up today. I hope you are able to enjoy the video, got something out of it. But if you're going through anything that's traumatic, I know it can be really hard and really gut-wrenching that you might have went through. And it's, you know, it's just holding on to that is not going to do anything. It's not going to do any good because the person that has done it, you know, probably seems good at night and not even worried about, you know, what kind of effects they had on you. You know, you're the one who has to deal with that. So it's just like when you let go of something like that, you never know what good is going to come in after you let that go. So it's just like, I know it's going to be hard. <laughs> and it's a learning process because trust me, I, I go through about it every day. And I know it's just, I know God, God has something out there great for me because I know it's just like life, this is not my life. This is not something, you know, it was just like negative coming in left and right. It's like when I get over something else, 10 other things come jumping on top of me after I got through with that. And it's just showing me how much strength you're able to have, how much you, you know, you're a go-getter, how much you going to go for that grind, go for that hustle and just keep moving, and just keep moving. And so I'm not trying to hold y'all up today. So if you're going through something, just know that there's something far more greater for you in the world. And things will be better. So I hope you enjoyed the video and got something out of what I was talking about. And if you feel comfortable, go ahead and drop me a line too. I'd love to get the positive feedback. And appreciate the love and support. And please like and subscribe. Hit that thumb bell. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. I will go ahead and list the meditation music in the link down below. And I will see you on my next video. Peace. Be wild.